everyone, I'm Ashley and I'm a second year vet student at St. George's University. And for today, I'm going to be taking you with me for my first week of term four classes. It's been a very long day. I was in class from 8.30 this morning until 4.30 this evening with only about an hour and a half break in between. So I am officially exhausted. For my classes today, I had Pathology 2, Intro to Clinical Medicine, Anesthesiology, two hours of Epidemiology, and one hour of Professional Development. And we learned so much already. But first, I'm gonna get some dinner, and I'm also going to take a shower because I feel very sweaty from walking back home today. I do hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please give it a like and subscribe for more. I do intend to do more weekly and daily vlogs again this term, so be sure to check that out when it comes out on YouTube. And if you do want a chance to poll for any of the video content that you see on this channel, please follow along with my Facebook journey. I will link it down in the description below. So I did finish studying for a few hours, so now I'm going to go ahead and make my to-do list for tomorrow's classes. I've received quite a few questions about what type of planner I use, and I use a to-do planner from Zugotu. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. But I will link it down in the description below, just in case you guys want to check it out too. I found it on Amazon. It's pretty cheap and it lasts me usually for an entire term. Tuesday. It's going to be another long day today. I have three hours of lecture this morning. It's my first time going through the avian fish and exotic animal diseases course here at SGU, so I'm kind of excited for that course, even though personally I'm not interested in going into exotics. Maybe after this course my mind will change, but I have that this morning. I have Intro to Clinical Medicine again in Pathology 2. And then at 3.30 p.m. today, I do have my first Intro to Surgical Skills lecture. So that's going to be pretty exciting. There is a pretty big gap between my classes today. So I'm actually going to come home like during the lunch hour. But yesterday, I went to bed around like 11, but I didn't end up vlogging because I broke my lid off of my traveling cup where I put my tea in on the first day. But that made me kind of sad, so now I'm in the search for a new traveling mug where I can put my hot tea in. So now I am drinking tea out of one of my other mugs that I can't take to school with me, but I'll finish the tea at home now until I get a new traveling one. I just made it back from my three hours of lecture this morning. They went pretty well. The avian, exotic, and fish class was so interesting. But I realized I need to brush up on my fish anatomy, and I also need to figure out 
like embryology for the heart because in pathology too, the professor started going on tangents about what the embryology was and what the anatomy was. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I don't remember any of this. So I'm going to go ahead and spend some time learning about that now since I'm home for a little bit before I go back to campus for my 3.30 class. I just got home from my surgical skills course and it went really well. It was pretty interesting. We just went over some of the instruments, but when I came home and tried to turn on my computer and mess with my phone, the internet is not working in my apartment currently. I don't think it's working anywhere in the building. So I'm going to eat really quick and then I'm going to head back to campus for the third time today because I need to actually study today. Hopefully the Wi-Fi is back on. I spent the last couple of hours studying and I got quite a bit done. I'm really happy with that. But now I'm really tired and I still have to take a shower and meal prep for tomorrow. I am officially headed to campus now. I'm running a little late this morning, but that's okay. I'm sorry if you can hear all the traffic. Everyone's trying to get to campus now too. I am back from class. It went pretty well today. I had my first lab today in surgical skills and honestly it was really fun. It's definitely difficult. I definitely need to practice a lot more so for that class in particular I think I'm going to have to practice it every day. Same with my intro to clinical medicine and my pathology too. Those courses are really intensive Anesthesiology hasn't gotten there yet, but I'm assuming as we get through the term, that's going to get very hard. But for the surgical skills lab today, we did a surgeon's knot and a square knot. So we started with the basics. We didn't do anything crazy today, but it's just practicing using the instruments. But unfortunately, I do have a really, really bad migraine that I've taken my medication for it hasn't really worked yet. I'm going to rest up a little bit before I start studying. I'm really hoping the migraine goes away soon. Good morning. It is Thursday. It is raining this morning, so I decided to put on my raincoat for the walk to campus this morning. I have three hours of lecture in person today, and then three hours of self-study. So even though it's kind of classified as a short day, it's not really a short day. It's gonna be okay. I feel a lot better than I did yesterday. I didn't actually do anything until like 11 o'clock at night, which is terrible. I am ready to go to classes today though, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I just got back from class and class itself went pretty well, even though there was that weird one hour break because of a self-study class for today, which I haven't done yet, but I will get to it when I get to studying for today. But I wanted to show you something that I bought. Since my traveling mug broke earlier on this week, I decided to get myself a new one at Ritual's Coffee Shop on campus. I just wanted to show you kind of what it looks like, do a little unboxing. Oh, it looks so nice. But this is kind of what it looks like, so this will be my new traveling mug for my tea and coffee. I'm really happy with that. It didn't cost me as much as I thought it would, so I'm really happy with that. 
But for now, I have a bunch of studying to get done and it's only one o'clock in the afternoon. So let's get started. <laughs> It's a lot of fun to actually start learning how to suture correctly. I'm still brand new at this, so if you guys do have any tips on how to practice your suture methods, please let me know down in the comments. I would love to know them, but I'm super excited. As you can see, I got out of the shower and then I just wanted to start practicing the suture methods that we learned this week, just so I don't fall behind because I know nothing about it yet, and I'm trying to learn. So I feel like the more I practice it, the better I'll get. I'm going to go ahead and get some sleep for tonight and get ready for my long day tomorrow. My classes start again at 8.30 in the morning, and I'm not coming home until like 4.30. So it's going to be another long day. Good morning, I am about to head out to class. I did have to wear scrubs today because I have my fish lab this afternoon. So I think we'll be doing venipuncture on fish. Not quite sure what we're doing other than that. It's going to be exciting. I do need to do the pre-work for that still, but I do have an hour of self-study this morning. So I will just do it during that period to make sure I understand what we're doing during lab today. So it's been a couple of hours since I got back from class today. I just needed a break. Today itself went pretty well, but I'm just completely drained from this week. There were a lot of issues that happened that they are still trying to figure out. The schedule for like the master schedule that was given to us was com completely wrong. I don't think one day this week was actually what it was supposed to be. Like, none of our self-study classes were actually in our schedule. They were showing us in-person classes instead of self-study. So we had random times where we had self-study in the middle of a day, which makes no sense because you would rather do your self-study stuff at home instead of in the classroom where you've been at for the, like, the last three hours or something. But you can't go home because you either have a class right after it in person or you have a lab in person. So that was kind of a frustrating part of this week. I'm really hoping that the professors and the deans have figured it out now so that our schedule is actually what it should be for the next couple of weeks. But today was really fun. I got to do my first venipuncture on a tilapia fish. That was really exciting. I didn't think it'd be that difficult, but it really was because their vein is so tiny and it's so close to the vertebrae. I swear it's so much easier to get blood from a dog. That might just be me. I don't know. So I'm hoping the next couple of weeks will go better. I have my first quiz in about two weeks and then I have my first final exam in three weeks. So I already have to start studying. I can't believe we're already through the first week of term four. I feel like it's flown by in some parts and it's just been dragging in others. So I'm super grateful that this week is done. I'm sorry for the long outro of this video, but I felt like I needed to explain kind of what was going on. If you do have any questions or concerns, please let me know down in the comments. I will be going to the Grand Aunt's Beach tomorrow. I will vlog a little bit of the beautiful sunset to end out this week's video. And I do hope you have a great day. And whenever you're watching this, I really hope that your classes are going well and that your application cycle has gone well. And if you guys need any advice at all, please feel free to reach out. I know how stressful 
the process can be. I will catch you all on the next vlog.